1943 Bronze Lincoln Sent. Famous Wartime Mint Error. Graded as AU-50 by PCGS. During World War II, copper was in high demand for military purposes, so the U.S. Mint switched the composition of the Lincoln Sent from copper to zinc-coated steel in 1943. However, a small number of bronze planchets, or coin blanks, were left over from 1942 and inadvertently used to strike a small number of 1943 Lincoln Sents. This mistake resulted in the production of a very limited quantity of bronze Lincoln cents for that year. This AU example has strong design definition with sharp hair and beard detail on the obverse, and full wheat ears on the reverse. A few trivial handling marks are noted on each side, but they are of no concern. The surfaces are smooth with a blend of golden tan and light brown. An impressive example of a famous mint error. This specimen was sold for $240,000. Next up. 1920s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, surfaces range from copper gold to orange and reddish violet, never sliding into the truly cool hues that lead similarly colorful coins to be called red and brown or brown. Luster is luminous with a degree of swirl on the reverse, and while the detail on Lincoln's portrait is characteristically soft, this coin's near absence of carbon and distracting marks makes for an excellent coin. It was sold for $44,062.50. Moving on with this, 1915D Lincoln sent in Mint State 67. In 2005, David Longy wrote in his Complete Guide to Lincoln Cents, as the population figures suggest, it, the 1915D, is readily available in all degrees of color, although few of the red or red slash brown coins are true gems. Similarly, Bowers noted in his guide book of Lincoln cents, mint state coins are seen with frequency in the marketplace, but gems with original color, no spots, and sharply struck are rare. Indeed, collectors should have little trouble locating an example in MS64 or MS65 with red surfaces, and even premium gems are offered usually multiple times a year. Surface preservation is unmatched, and the visual appeal is equally good. Aside from softness on the lower part of AM in America, the relief elements are fully brought up. Light copper orange color paints each side with shimmering satin mint luster. It was sold for $43,200. 1927s Lincoln sent in Mint State 65 Plus. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1927s sent is a challenging issue to acquire in full red condition, and at the gem level such pieces are major rarities. Satiny luster abounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into the red color category. Abrasions are nearly non-existent, and only a few microscopic specks are visible. It ended up selling for $36,000. 1969s Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. The 1969s double die obverse is visible without magnification akin to the 1955 double die obverse Lincoln scent. A general rule suggests that more visibility of the doubling equates to greater popularity. Another key to popularity is a listing in the guide book. Varieties such as this double die that are listed in the popular red book have substantially greater popularity. This example has a trace of wear on the highest design points, while retaining splashes of original orange mint luster on its olive surfaces. Minor carbon specks are visible, including a few larger spots on each side. It was sold for $25,300. 1932D Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. Luminous copper orange surfaces exhibit rose and reddish accents that heighten the visual appeal substantially. Both sides are effectively flawless and awash in shimmering satin mint luster. Well struck with a single carbon speck in the right obverse field. It ended up selling for $25,200. Lincoln cent struck on a copper planchet. Rare transitional error penny. Reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper cent. Though the zinc-plated steel cent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper cent planchets found their way between 1983 dies. Perhaps the planchet lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed some time later. An orange-red and apple-green example that has a good strike and minor obverse abrasions. It ended up selling for 
As we conclude our exploration of these seven super rare and immensely valuable Lincoln scents, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The world of numismatics is a treasure trove of history, intrigue, and untold stories. If you happen to possess one of these remarkable coins in the mentioned condition, consider yourself the guardian of a piece of numismatic legacy. Hold onto it tightly, for it's not just a mere coin, it's a piece of history worth cherishing. Have a good one.